welcome to News Just Reviews. Today, we'll be heading to Rainforest Cafe in New Jersey, and along the way, we will pick up a surprise guest. It'll only take five hours each way. All right, we, uh, we're in Norwalk, Connecticut. We just stopped for lunch. Um, we are about 40 miles from New York City, which is where our next stop is. We're going to Manhattan, and from there, we're gonna go on to uh, the Rainforest Cafe. It says we'll get there at around three. As you can see, it's one o'clock. Um, yeah, we're taking it in the sights. I got the pasta wire and it was advertised as spicy with a little fire emoji flame thing. And the waiter, I would like to point out, did look me in the eyes and say, are you sure you want to order it? It's kind of spicy. And I would say that was quite a misdirect. It was not spicy. And I have two friends with no biases or melanin to confirm that theory so i know that it's not me but if you disregard the weird little adventure of getting misled about the pasta's spice tolerance level i would say it was a solid i would say it's six out of ten it was it, i did lower my expectations for rainforest cafe despite my encouraging appearance in the beginning but i think that it was it was still above average pasta good job all right so as previously stated i got the fish and chips from rainforest cafe edison new jersey um and it was pretty much exactly as expected there it's there's not much to say really <laughs> um but yeah it was perfectly acceptable fish and chips would you order it again? Um, well, real <laughs> realistically, I would attempt not to come back here again. But if I was in Rainforest Cafe, Edison, New Jersey again, I probably would. What about a different Rainforest Cafe location? <laughs> they're, they're all the same, so. Mm. Is there anything else to tell the audience? Not really. Anything you'd recommend? Not doing this. <laughs> Thank you. I ordered the shrimp scampi flatbread. Um, I came in with uh, mediocre expectations and it was slightly above mediocre. Um, it consisted of flatbread, um, alfredo, mozzarella, shrimp, and then onions. Um, and it did surpass my expectations, but I wasn't in love with it. Um, I'd give it like a 3.5 out of 5 Huskies. Um, just, it was, it was fine. It's not worth driving 6 hours each way for, so, uh, It's only 5. 5 hours each way for. Um, but like, if you are in the mall and nothing else is open that's it's fine so i ordered the python pasta and it was a classic chicken alfredo it was everything and more than i expected now in in, in the literal sense in that it didn't list that it had tomatoes but it came with tomatoes so that was a little upsetting 
However, compared to the experience we had last year, this was so good. Um, I, I was very glad we came back to redo the experience. Um, I might, I'd probably have to give the food a four out of five. Now for price, it was a, it was a little pricey. Um, but the food was actually really good. My only critique would be that it could have been a little hotter. Um, the chicken had clearly been sitting for a little bit and I would prefer if it was not. Um, the atmosphere was amazing. There were animatronic animals. There were thunderstorms about every 20 minutes. And I was just vibing. Like, it was, it was a great experience overall. And I'm glad I'm spending all day with my friends doing something exciting. How did you feel about the volcano? So the volcano, it was, in my opinion, better than the one we had last year. Now, commentator Adam said this was worse than the one we had last year, so a little bit of agreement to disagree there. Now, I will say, if you were expecting to see explosions and fireballs and everything like that, you're not going to get it because this location does not put a sparkler in the volcano. It puts a little plastic trinket on top to, um, to decorate it, to adorn it, instead of actually starting a fire. Um, so that, that is a disappointment, but if you come in with that expectation, you're going to do just fine. Thanks for joining us on our journey to Rainforest Cafe in Edison, New Jersey. Join us next time on News Does Reviews. Oh,